Yeah, welcome to another episode or edition of uh, Kelly Hazel's uh, uh, online tutorial and affiliate marketing uh, channel. So on this channel, we introduce you to affiliate marketing, how to design a website, text, uh, tech uh, tips and tricks as well, uh, CPA marketing, and a host of them. But then in this edition, we are going to look at how to create a free website, a free domain and hosting for free. You know hosting and domain creation is not free. You need to pay for it. But in case you don't have money to do that, I will introduce you to a, a, a site. Uh, yes, there are a lot of sites that, that does that. But then uh, there's a particular one that I want us to use for, for this training or tutorial purposes. So please pay rapt attention as we follow through step by step. Yeah, so you know, before you even get a domain and a hosting, you need to get it from a company that deals in that, like GoDaddy, uh, Bluehost, uh, Namecheap, Hammond Web, and a host of them. And the prices differ. The price is not fixed or it's not constant throughout. The prices differ. But what we, we want to learn today is how we can get this WordPress site without paying for hosting and even domain. Yes, we, we want to learn how to create a WordPress site for free with access to cPanel and all that. So as you have your back end to do all your integration, all your installations. So before we proceed, let's go to this website. Uh, let's go to this website, infinityfree.net. So let's go, infinityfree.net. Let's log in, click on this. Now, this is infinityfree.net, so let's register. So you click on registration. Now, I've already registered here, so my account is already here. But then if you are here to register, this is what you do. So when you click on register, you see the drop down come. So you enter your, your email address, uh, you enter your password, you accept the terms and conditions. If there's any form of verification with the image icon and all that you do that then you send you submit so when you submit you receive a very a very a verification email from infinity free so all you have to do is to click on verify email address so now if you click on verified email address it takes you to your portal your registration portal so you see your email there and all that so it takes you here and then all you have to do is to create your your account, which is going to be your cPanel account. So you create the cPanel account here. So since we don't have any account, let's go to create an account now. So click on create an account now. Now, if you have your own custom domain, you can use it by make sure that the name service are pointed to infinity free name service before you can use it here but if you don't have one let's see let's use any any one we want so job at home so yes so job at home dot four two web dot io so i'm going to use this as extension job at home let me check at job at home okay so i pick job at home Jaw at home. Okay, jaw at home. Uh, that's fine. Now we are here. We want to create our cPanel password in order for us to be able to log into our cPanel. Yes, cPanel. So let's go. What to be our cPanel password? Um, So now let me create an account and see. Now your account has been created with username. This username successfully. Account has been created with this username successfully. Account has been created with this username successfully. Now that the account is created, how do we access our cPanel 
and begin to do our, our stuff. Yes, yeah, so before we proceed, all right, that's fine. So now the account is, is being created. So now we have our account. Your account has been created with username. Here are some things you need to know. It will take a few minutes for your account to be set up, but you can log into the control panel already. It can take up to 72 hours for the new domain to be visible everywhere due to DNS caching. Yes, so due to uh, domain name service uh, caching integration and all that, it will take a bit of time for it to be pointed, for it to be ready. But then with the time being, we can log into the C panel and then look at some of the features there and what we can we can do so now it is finished account is created we are done with account creation so this is our c panel username so let me see c panel username now i've copied my c panel username i don't want to to misplace it so i've copied my c my cpanel username now let me open a cpanel and see what is there it's redirecting me to the cpanel so let's wait patiently let's wait patiently for the cpanel to be fully ready so now it is saying that to notify you of changes to service account status changes offers and other important service emails we need permission to send you email please mm -hmm. click approve below to allow us so in case there's an issue with the, the account status or there's any offer or anything they want to communicate with you you allow them access that okay you can send me alert or information via my email so if you accept or if you are okay with that you just click on approve so if you approve then we are straight into our c panel so c panel so we are straight in our c panel so you see we have created a, a, a free hosting and domain account with a with infinityfree.net so with infinityfree.net you have access to your your domain and then your hosting it is completely free so let's look at some features here so let's say uh, you want to create an email for the the domain that you have you have you have hosted you want to create an email for the domain you have hosted you can easily do that here as well maybe if you have email forwarders if you want to set a bit of advert here so if you want to set uh, a bit of you want to set your email or you want to set email forwarders as well so that when you get email it is sent to 